I did a video recently called Chipper Fatality, and I think that that would be an excellent video to bring up and show your guys, share it, and then talk about it. Certain subjects we all need to discuss, we need to talk about it, get feedback from your guys, Have the, ask them questions. You know, what do you think is wrong with the way we're doing things? You know, if they start thinking, then it's going to be good for everybody. So here's another subject that I'd like to introduce as a potential safety talk. And I call it Anticipate the Unexpected. You know, I'm forever talking about the hazards in tree work, but there are other hazards that can happen that are really unpredictable. I was at my house just the other day and I was walking along and I got hit on the head with an acorn. And for some reason, the acorns are exceptionally large this year. And I tell you, that acorn hit me right on the head and I got dizzy. I got a big lump on my head. I was just walking along on my pathway and out of the blue, this thing came out of nowhere. So if you're out doing tree work, always be prepared for the stuff that you just cannot anticipate. I mean, it can happen. If it can happen, it will happen. Does that mean you should wear a hard hat all the time? I don't know if I was wearing a hard hat when I was walking into my house, I wouldn't have got this bump on my head. So what kind of stuff do I talk about that can happen? You know, it's, uh, it's a whole new world out there right now. You know, we've got all these electric vehicles they're quiet. They sneak up on you. People in these electric cars, just out of the blue, you know, you don't hear them coming. And it's all the other stuff too. It's the electric bicycles. And it's not just kids on electric bicycles. There's a lot of adults that are flying to work. And some of these things are going 30 miles an hour. Electric scooters, they're coming out of nowhere. You know, you've got uh, um, all, all the electric skateboards. Have you seen electric skateboards come flying by? And these guys on the electric skateboards, you know, they don't care about a work zone. They'll fly right through your, your work zone, right on the sidewalk. You know, they, they see the cones as obstacles. You know, they, they want to, you know, do a, a slalom course through the, the cones. You know, so the difficulties in working today have grown almost exponentially with all the new stuff that's out there, all the new technology. And what about headphones? I mean, I've got my earbuds on right now, so I can't hear quite as well as I should be hearing. Um, people are always walking down the street with earbuds on and, and they've got their music blasting, so they don't hear you. And if they don't hear you, they're just obliviously walking along. How many times have you seen somebody walk across a crosswalk because the crosswalk is their protection zone. You know, it's, you know, they are not going to get hit if they're in the magic crosswalk. So they step right out in front of traffic. You know, they got their headphones on, they're oblivious, just completely and totally oblivious. And that's the kind of stuff we have to deal with these days. So when I say anticipate the unexpected, it means really be aware really pay attention to everything that's going on around you all the all the people all the cars all the vehicles all the other stuff you know the trees are dangerous enough but it's the outside stuff that's going to get you you know i put up a video last week i guess it's been about 10 days uh called chipper fatality and for some reason everybody wants to see blood and guts and gore and I didn't show any of that. It wasn't something that I was a witness to. I was talking about it, but just the title and maybe the, uh, you know, the thumbnail of showing the chipper was enough to get people excited about it. And I got 10 times more views in the first 10 days than I normally do, which makes me stop and think about uh, <laughs> our society as a whole. I mean, everybody is so, ingrained in seeing the morbid and the sick and the twisted and you know that's what I think that's what got most of the views people said "Ooh, I want to see a fatality or I want to hear more about it so don't know what to say about that but I uh, sure hope my educational videos are good
want to be viewed for what they really are, and that's the educational part of it. And I try to do a lot of safety videos. Um, this is a safety video. You know, I, I, I'm titling it Anticipate the Unexpected for a good reason. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, I'm driving down the road right now. I don't know, a tree could fall on me. You know, a car could come flying down the road in the wrong direction. Um, kid on a bike could come out of nowhere. It could happen, but if you're prepared for it and you're watching ahead, you've got a much, much greater chance of avoiding a bad outcome or a bad circumstance. So pay attention, pay, pay close attention, always be alert. <laughs> you know, I gotta ask myself, if I had changed up the thumbnail on that video, the chipper fatality, and so let's say I'd splashed red paint all over the inside of that shoot, I'd probably have a few million views by now. <sighs> People, I don't.